<laughs> whoa, whoa. See that guy right there? Looks like he's hit rock bottom. Well, that guy's actually me. Now, I bet you're wondering how I got in this wacky situation. It all started in the summer of 86. This is Chris Wondolowski in his earlier days. Here he had no idea that he would one day become the best ever play on American soil. From humble beginnings to greatness, nobody could have predicted what was to come. Like any other kid, Chris went to high school. He learned math, chemistry, but most importantly the fundamentals of soccer. Here he earned all Bay Valley Athletic League first team and all East Bay first team honors in 2000 and 2001. Surprisingly, it would be quite some time that Wanda was recognized for his talents again. After high school, he enjoyed an exceptional college soccer career at Chico State University. He was one of their best players. Wondolowski was soon drafted 41st overall in the 2005 MLS Supplemental Draft by the San Jose Earthquakes. He would go on to make only two MLS appearances for San Jose in 2005. He did however lead the San Jose Earthquakes reserve team in goals, a hint as to what was to come. The next season he moved to Houston, as San Jose was relocated there. He once again led the reserve team in scoring, tallying 13 goals in 11 games. At this point you could firmly say that he was the greatest reserve player to grace the pitch. But the question still remained, would this carry over to a higher level? From 2006 to 2009, Wando only scored 4 goals in 39 appearances. He was by no means a standout, and his career was in jeopardy. In 2009, he moved back to his native land of San Jose. And this is truly where the underdog story turned to a top dog story. In his homecoming year, he scored 3 goals in 14 games. Nothing special, but Wando was just warming up. This was only the beginning. 2010. 18 goals. 2011, 16 goals. Houston were biting their tongue at this point. How could they give up a god of the game? 2012 arrived and Wando scored 27 goals. I repeat, 27. Tied for the highest goal tally in the league ever at that time. Wondolowski also became the first and only MLS player so far to win the Player of the Month award four times in a single season. There really is no explanation for this uptick in godly-like performances. Legend has it that Wanda might have made a deal with a supernatural being. I don't want to say the devil, but it could have been. Sources though still not confirm whether this is true. Where's Wando? Again, scoring double digits in 2013 and 2014. He played phenomenal, but this was sadly overshadowed by the events that unfolded on the night of July 1st, 2014 at Arena Fonte Nova in Brazil. The Wandanator was subbed on in the 72nd minute of a tied game. Flash forward to the 93rd minute, sure to be the final chance of the game. Wando has it on a silver platter, and he fumbles it. God damn, he fumbles it. The moment or matter most, he shanked it. But wait, the sideline ref called it offside. That wouldn't have even counted. This miss, per se, fueled Wando to even greater heights. Since that World Cup, Wando has scored double digits every single year. He's aged like a fine yellowtail wine. From scoring four goals in his first five years to scoring over 163, he truly is the epitome of a man who had nothing but turned it into everything. He's the league's top goal scorer of all time, exceeding past greats like Landon Donovan, Jaime Moreno, and Dwayne De Rosario. We can all learn a little something from Wando. Even if you're the best at something, people are still gonna bring up your past mistakes. Yes, I get it, he missed a sitter, but he's still the MLS GOAT. <laughs> Wanda will forever go down as the most unexpectedly greatest player of all time. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Every bench needs its king. Also, check out our podcast that releases every single Monday morning. Thank you guys, we'll see you next week.